Hello everyone, welcome back to ECC83 YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing fine out there. In today's video, I've decided I'm not only going to compare two kinds of tubes, but three kinds. And as you guessed it, they're all coming from the same manufacturer. The difference is the decades they have been producing. I'm going to start with this 1970s dimpled getter version or flying saucer getter, however you want to call it, short bladed Philips, followed by 1960s ring getter version. Basically, they're all also the same construction. The difference is basically the different getter. That's why I can notice. And last but definitely not least are perhaps my favorite tubes out of all tubes, uh, the long plated horseshoe getter. I don't know if you can see inside the tube, but uh, it's a beautiful tube. It was made in the, in the late 50s and it sounds absolutely amazing. They all sound amazing, by the way. And what we're going to do, we're going to compare. We're going to do the clean guitar channel and the crunch guitar channel. We're both going to record uh, uh, two guitars, left and right. And uh, one thing I need to mention, in all of these tubes are going to be in V1, V2 position, when it's going to be compared. And V3 position is always going to be followed by this Tungsgram, made in the 70s, which, by the way, it's a phenomenal sounding tube. I won't change any settings on the amp. I won't change the position of the microphone or anything. The only thing that will be changed will be the tubes. Okay, so let's go. <laughs>
So here we are in the end of this video. I hope you took some good headphones or you have some good speakers to listen and really hear the difference between these tubes. Uh, if, you have some, if you're listening through the cell phone, don't do it because you ain't going to hear much from there. Anyways, from what I, from what, the way I experienced it and the way I heard it is that the 70s Philips have less details than the one from the 60s and the one from the 60s are quite similar to the ones from the 50s with the exception that the 1950s ones have this very nice 3d kind of a and low low mid nice extended range uh i don't know maybe it's because perhaps of a long plate i don't know but overall i think my favorite are from the 50s uh following by the 60s on the to the 70s. They're all, by the way, all great sounding tubes, in my opinion, and I don't think you can go wrong by choosing any of those. Um, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, write in the comments below what you heard the difference, and uh, uh, if you also own Philips Mini Watts, how are your experience with them? I think they are, in my humble opinion, they're one of the best, best vintage tubes there are um so yeah hope you enjoy subscribe for more and let's continue this tube comparison next time have a good one